can do a lot with those tags. But when I work with customers, I find uh, they tend to get a little bit excited by the idea and go over the top when they get started. If you're not already using tags, if you're starting to, uh, to use them to, to look into your cost allocations, I would recommend starting off as you know, the, the KISS process, uh, principles, start off keeping it really basic, really simple, okay? My, my opinionated way of starting this off is use just three tags, workload, stage, and team. So workload could be changed out for application name, whatever suits your business. Um, let's say web front end, something like that. Stage is your developmental stage. So dev test prod or whichever phases you're using. And the team is who's responsible for running this. The reason I have team and workload uh, is because sometimes one team will be responsible for multiple workloads or multiple teams might be uh, responsible for workload. So then you can really get down to, um, so Amazon S3 is an example. They have in one product or one project, they have hundreds of teams working on that, uh, looking after front ends and back ends and indexing services and all sorts of things. Separating out with your tags as, as finely as you can will enable you to do analysis on those things. Uh, at the same time, if you go too deep on those tags, you end up with too many and with the, the overkill, you never get it right. Both Amazon and Google have the same challenge here in that they are all case sensitive. So if you use um, something like stage or environment name or something like that, and one tag name has a capital E and the other one doesn't, then they're going to appear as two separate tags. The same with the values. So try to um, always stick to the single name case, whether that's uppercase, lowercase, Python, snake case, whatever you want. Try to make sure that everyone in your company is doing the same thing. You can coalesce them later on. It's just more data processing work that needs to be done. Um, and again, follow those FinOps principles, right? So for example, when I'm, when I'm looking at the inform, optimize and operate, I would start off with this workload stage and team. Um, and if I don't have them, then I'm going to fall back to accounts. And sometimes that's not going to be very detailed. I'm not going to have a lot of account information. So on my first trip through the optimized phase, I'm going to try to start getting teams to deploy these tags. Now, uh, if the teams are following best practice, they're using Terraform, they're using some kind of infrastructure as code. That's going to take a while before they've updated all their code and before things are getting tagged. Uh, so I'm going to then put in a KPI for my operate phase is what percentage of my costs have a tag. Right? It can be any tag, doesn't matter what tag, but start to get some data on what I have tagged and what I haven't. How much of my stuff can I start to allocate? And over time, I'm going to get better at that. Next time around, I'm going to say, okay, everyone's got tags, but let's get the casing right, right? So make sure that everyone's using a capital W for workload or, or whatever the, the situation might be. As we keep going through, our crawl, walk, run starts taking care of itself. And while we're doing all of that, you will start automatically forming new questions, okay? Teams will be curious and they'll see, my team has, has used this much this month when we start showing back to them. Uh, it's 10% it's higher than last month. Is it in dev test or prod? Can I explain what happened? Can I start comparing it to code changes that we made? Anything along those lines, 